Is that what it said? It does. Well, there you go. All right. <laughs> What's that? See you to unsubscribe. It told you to unsubscribe. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Fourth of July, first of all, for for those of you that celebrate it. I have a special guest here. First of all, as you can see, we got everything kind of wide open here, and hopefully everybody can hear me. So I'm going to take a look, and I'm going to walk over here and see if we get any comments. Ah, looks like our our mic is on and video is on, which is good. Well, we're having everybody over today. How do you know, Leland? <laughs> Leland, can you hear us? And can you see us? That's the most important thing right now. So we'll just wait a second before we go too much further. Picture and sound, that's all I need. Ice Guardian, how are you? How, happy fourth to everybody once again. So anyways, we're having a whole bunch of people over today. It's 4th of July, but of course, the one person that everybody kind of knows that's gonna be here is my man, Berkey, who was here for the Dice Tower Con 2017. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's here. And he's going to be spending the fourth with us, and of course he's cooking. So uh, you know, of course you're going to rim fest, him. baby. It's happening at the Orin House, as always. Uh, but now they're cooked by a professional, instead of me butchering them the way I we'll know. We'll find out cook. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course Mike's here. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Mike. Boy, Mike, you just, yes. you just got it. your time is horrible. No. <laughs> Didn't know I was coming. Anyways, we're, we're going to show you what we normally do when, when we set up a table, okay? Now, we've really turned things around in a lot of ways. Instead of just playing on, on the, the kitchen table, we have this nice little portable table. But now that's going to change, isn't it, Bert? It's going to change. So normally, it's a big fold-out. We take all our, our tables out. And as you've seen over the last week or two, you grab that. Okay. That's it. That's how, how we set up everything. And it works because this sitting room's a lot better for us, and it works a lot better for us. Uh, happy for to some happy mouth. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, your stuff yeah, baby. around, don't it? Yeah, happy mouth. And this is pretty decent. But Berkey, in all his geniusness, why don't you explain what you did in the last year? Well, uh, it's a long story, but to make it short is I love the experience of playing board games and I have a nice table at home, but I realized that a lot of people don't have the space for an extra table. So I came up with this idea, how could I bring portable gaming to everybody? And so I made a portable prototype for my daughter's house that I would take up to Alexandria for a family game night. And uh, then the wheels started churning. I started talking with a lot of industry people and a lot of other people to find out what they wanted. And as that developed, I started working with some professional engineers to try to do something really special. And thus, Game Toppers was born. born. So he was nice enough to get one for us, which I, I can't thank you enough for, <laughs> number one. And we're going to show you how easy this thing goes together and how easy it goes apart. This is a completely everything that we had hoped for. Now, as you've seen for years, we played on the kitchen table, we've set up card tables, anything that we can do. The game changes as of today. So why don't we take a look at this? Now these things, they told me not to lift it because they said it wouldn't be... Um, well, well you're a little light on the lifting. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little light on the lifting. They didn't want to see me struggle, so they're going to actually show you how this goes on the table. <laughs> actually, we should have Janice do it. These things are The light. table comes in two halves, so it sits just that simply. What's really beautiful about the table you can see here is this is an aluminum rail, which is, provides durability and strength. But now let's see what Janice can do here. She's strong like a bull. She is strong as a bull. Don't lift that one. No, this one. Oh, man. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and have at it. 
You want organic, you got organic. <laughs> two more. Look, Come on, two more. Just two more. <laughs> now, isn't that, that's pretty light. <laughs> so, again, it just slides together. Yep. Now you think, oh, okay, great, right? You can go a little bit there. A little bit? Oh, that's, there that's on me. Now, the funny thing is, there, I'm going to show you guys later when I take this off. Hopefully I can take, take this bracket off. There is a bracket here that actually slides forward when it's loosened. That comes in and makes the table an entire table. So just like that, it's, and then you just screw it here, screw it there. And you came up with this? Yeah, basically the benefit of this aluminum rail system and part of it doesn't part come of apart. The, it becomes one solid piece, so virtually becomes a solid table. In addition, it provides that extra stability mm -hmm. so that this table is really solid. Yeah, and now card, you know, a, 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 a simple little fold-out table is now a professional gaming table, just like that. Let's see this. I could really use that. You bet you you can use it. Is this a prototype? No, this isn't actually a pr our first first run production. We have 60 tables being manufactured right now uh, that we'll have out for Gen Con and some other shows. But we, we scrambled this last week, um, even doing some hand finishing of the wood. Everything we want top-notch, high quality. And we put these six tables just to be able to come to Dice Tower Con and just to be able to make this trip here for Rob. So. <laughs> I drove 26 hours in you my drove old, 26 hours the poor guy my old 2002 Chevy Suburban but we're here baby but this is just as high quality as you can and and, and it, it's it's gonna be pretty much uh, I, I mean you see game tables for five six thousand dollars exactly eight thousand dollars this is going to be nowhere near it, right? Well, and, and the benefit of this, exactly, it's going to be very affordable when we, we're going to be looking to go to crowdfunding this fall. But we're looking at price points where we're going to be from 500 to $700 ish range with all kinds of amazing accessories. The table's great, but there's a lot more to it than just that. And I just got it. I'm going to get on the other side here. And, I, and, and, and if you have some questions and stuff like that, just give me, give me a minute. I'll get over here and I'll, I'll answer a lot of things. Where's the stupid handle there? Okay. I'm actually going to try to take this off. Whoops. And I just want to show you guys how, how much quality is here. I mean, this is just top-notch no top wood grain. And Berkey... Why don't you show us some, some of the real cold? Well, one okay. of the things here is all of the rail here. This is a, a heavy duty aluminum rail system mm -hmm. where there is a notch that is put in here. This was eight months of engineering with professional engineer team. Uh, the manufacturing company, it's going to be all made in the United States. Mm -hmm. We can produce 500 to 700 a month of these tables, mm -hmm. all with this level of quality. You'll notice the sheen and the finish. We did a lot of evaluation to make sure that this was high quality finish that would be very durable. But part of the innovation that came in designing all of these rails is that we wanted to produce, you know, for cup holders to get your beverages off the table, wine goblet holders, these kind of things. Mm -hmm. But a way that they could go into the table quickly and modular. So anywhere on the table, it basically fits in just like that. It locks into place. You put in your cup holder insert, and these can, you just basically pick up, and then they lock into place and they can go anywhere. So if you're playing a two-player game, a, a four-player game six, we also have these cool little uh, cork and wood inserts that fit on top of these. My good friend Ben from Daedalus Productions is manufacturing these for me and I'm working on several other projects with him. These fit on top, so now it can be a cup holder or a component tray. So if you've got hidden coins, whatever you want, man, mm -hmm. we just put them all there. Pops out that simple moves anywhere on the table. Do me a favor, since, since I'm over here on this side with the camera, sh show them how this thing locks together. This here is, is the rail, and it's very simple. It just slides, it stays right in, so you, inside of the rail, it slides apart like that, and then you can move apart the table. Mm -hmm. But what that does is it locks the table together. Oh, back it out just a hair. 
and then you tighten these screws down just like that and, and this tabor, becomes this, one solid yeah rail. It, do, it, it doesn't go anywhere and, and we tried pulling it apart we did we, we did <laughs> we've broken this thing down like six seven times just just in having here so let me put put you guys back put this back up here so i don't mess everything up here and brand new camera let's not mess it up and there we go i'll tell you this this is here i'll even i'll even i mean look at this oh we are we are now watch this oh i mean just like that and then you have a prototype thing which i thought was real cool yeah this we didn't have time to get this done for the trip because these are all cnc'd out and then there's a lot of hand sanding and whatnot that we're doing but this here is a component tray this was from my wood prototype i have several we designed five different wood prototypes actually to get okay. to this level but we're going to have one that looks similar to this it will likewise have an insert it'll have two cup holders but then it'll have separate component trays and I'm working with Ben from Daedalus and we're also going to be working with Dogmite Games mm -hmm. with special component collectors that actually fit inside and of these trays. And it's got a trays. card thing too. Now this won't go in here. That won't work in there. Okay, that won't work in this one. Uh, what's beautiful about this system is it's non-mechanical. There are mm -hmm. no springs to break or anything. They just, you pick pick up, pull out, they stay stable. Oh, They're very holy strong. Cow. Boom. Even a big dummy like me can do it. Look at this. <laughs> it's like a toy. It's like I'm, I'm just I'm just waiting for a comment from the kitchen. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, good. I'm all right then. One of the things that's really cool too, though, and we've been playing with different ones. I didn't have time to get my manufactured mats here for this, but you can put thematic game mats, and we're going to have some super high quality game mm -hmm. mats. Um, this is a really beautiful three millimeter mat that I'm working with Mousepads.cool on these here are stitched we're also going to have some thematic mats i don't know if you can see this on film but this would be cool to show if we could show it boy big picture of you right on the cover huh well there you go this here let's see if they can see yeah that. yeah we're in this is a dungeon crawl map we hired some very uh high quality art people andreas uh, who did the artwork for Mage Wars to do this beautiful dungeon crawl map. We also have a, let's see if I can, a space field map. And these will be all custom fitted to these tables. Here's a treasure map. Oh, wow. Yeah, see that guy here? Look at this guy. Let's see if you can see him. He looks kind of like you, Rob. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to, you know, probably soon. <laughs> I keep it up, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh oops, no, my that's not mouse. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. Shameless Jeez. plugs. Shameless we, we plugs. Just, we just did spoil the war. There. Yeah, good old Lance Meister. This is my wood prototype, for those of you who can see, but this here is a castle map that'll load here in a second. There we go. So, all these things are going to be able for the, the top here. So, you just don't have the wood finish there. Oh, yeah what is the exact dimensions of this one right here i think somebody was asking oh good question this particular one is 36 inches wide by 72 inches long mm -hmm. and this is actually our convention table and this is a table that will set really nicely on those 30 inch by six foot uh tables the lifetime tables are really good yep um this is a folding costco table works fine on there as well yeah and, and it's solid i mean it's solid on here i'm I'm moving my, my arms as much as I can to shake it up and this thing is dead on. Well, one of the things that I found really interesting with all the high-end tables, I did a lot of research on this, mm -hmm. but most of the tables that you find are only 29 inches, your kitchen height. Well, we designed this specifically that this has a three and a half inch rail here. Mm -hmm. So this provides you a lot of footprint for your arms. Uh, we are very deliberate that all of our edges are totally rounded. Mm -hmm. This is a very high-end uh, uh, powder coat metallic fleck that is on this aluminum rail. So it's very scratch resistant, but it's soft. Right. So the finishing, make sure that everything is just really comfortable, no pressure points. But then ergonomically, we're sitting straight now, our posture, so you can handle that three, four hour game much more uh, comfortably. I, I agree there. I agree there. I mean, just absolutely just spectacular. And I, I can't thank you enough for this. 
but uh, when do you think you guys are going to go up on Kickstarter with this bad boy? Well, we're hoping this fall. You know, um, I have a business background. I own a, owned a successful computer company, mm -hmm. um, and I sold that to my partners several years ago, and my family and I went on the road doing music. And uh, but the business side has really been a part of my my uh, my training and background. Uh, we did a little over twenty million in sales at mm -hmm. that company, so I do have some experience, but. A lot of business planning has gone into this, so to answer your question, I want to make sure that everything's done right before mm -hmm. I go to go to market with it. I want to make sure all of my fulfillment, um, like I said, we can produce about 500 to 700 a month. They're even talking about scaling up if we need to. Right. Um, working with local fulfillment centers to make sure we get our shipping costs in line. And again, going with high quality. I'm just not interested in doing things cheaply. I right. Want it to be done I mean, right. I, I just, I just can't believe how nice, Mike. Oh, I mean, this, this is fantastic. This is yeah. ridiculous. This is real nice. I mean, like you said, we get. This is going to allow us to have a really high quality game experience in the middle of the in the middle of our in this room here. Whereas before we were having a very wait, wait, wait a, minute. a quality gaming experience on, <laughs> on the folding uh, I mean, table. Let's let's not go right, crazy. Right. Let's not go crazy. Right. We're talking about our channel. Correct. Nothing is high quality. <laughs> right. Well, we would definitely. I mean, you know, again, you you'll have an experience. We'll have an experience. Just... <laughs> all right. This, this is all for the Oronites, Okay. Yeah. This is all for the Oronites. We want. Yeah. Want this is definitely gaming. again. This is another game changer for us, and it's a game topper, and it's unbelievable. Listen, we're going to take some questions too, but um, just make sure you put question in, in front of it. I'm going to look and make sure that I didn't miss anything that anybody might have have uh, said. Let me just uh, on the other other question. Any chance is, getting okay. it? Uh, this this is this is one four feet wide in the future. Uh, there's a couple options. Uh, the one table that we're going to be designing, or is already designed, is a 38 by 60 inch, and that's the inside vault, okay, mm -hmm. from inside dimensions. You add another 7 inches, because these are 3.5 inch rails, to the overall width. Um, there's a possibility of us doing a giant one at Kickstarter, depending on volume levels. Um, all the rails and the wood, the way it all comes off the manufacturing line, um, has to be consistent for us to, to do cost. Uh, so we're going to try to be standardized and ones that we've, uh, a 48 inch wide table will only perform very well on a wider base table. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. these are specific, if we haven't shown the underneath of these, but one thing that's really important is there are cross struts that are underneath here that provide this stability. Yeah. A lot of iterations went into making sure this this floor of the game vault is raised so it's not flat on the table so we don't get any warping right it's a big deal yeah um, the engineering of how that worked was it took us a lot of time to make sure that performed right and so our tables were always in square but yeah to answer your question there there may be an option but it's for a specific solution and now also that you were talking about is that you're going to have an end cap for one of these. Oh, yeah. So um, you can actually put this on a card table. This is fantastic. To some degree. With, with any of these tables, you notice they come in two halves. We can actually have an end rail mm -hmm. that will go on there as an accessory, which turns one of the halves of your table into a mini table. So for this one, it would become a 36 by 36 inch table. Right. Yeah. So Star uh, Star Wars X Wing or Armada, it's a yeah, perfect tournament that's right. size. Yeah, because it's yeah, it's right there. You put Star Map on it, and you're and you're ready to go. Boom. Yeah. yeah. In fact, we have one. Yeah, we do. We're sitting yeah. uh, right over there. In fact, we have dual Star Maps. This one here, you just throw out your game map. This one's Berkey because it doesn't have dog hair on it. <laughs> I wish it had dog hair on it. It does have dog hair on hey, it. Hey, it only took a little while to get here. All right, but here we've got a, a 36 by 36, and so thematically to play games, it's that simple. Just switch out your mats, and we're gonna. We are actually. This is cool. We're designed to the the artist who did Doomtown Reloaded right. is going to be working on on two thematic poker mats, one for Texas Hold'em and one for blackjack, right. and they're going to have thematic artwork. So this could turn into your poker night table too. Now, somebody asked, what is the surface made out of? The surface of, of the, the floor of the vault? Yeah. 
Um, this one here is construction grade cabinet plywood. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to be going to, this is our first run that we pulled out just to make these six tables. So right. honestly, we're really scrambling to get this thing done uh, just to bring it down here. But we're going to actually be using a black laminate um, that will not scratch and that's perfect for dexterity games. This one here is really good too, but this is just a clear finish, right. which we want to make that black. That will help with uh, gaming mats. One of the things with any of the game mats that are out there, they do have a tendency to not be exact. You know, if you ordered your own mat, they may vary an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. And so by having a black base, that will mitigate some yeah. of that. And that's one of the things that you can't really do much about. Is there plans for a six by four table, miniatures table in the future? Uh, not a plan for a six by four. Okay. That would have to be something to be really custom. I'd have to order aluminum in a specific... Uh, again, we're trying to be standardized where these tables were designed primarily for that home, home table market for your own kitchen or dining room table. But you also were talking about that because the way these end caps are, that getting um, uh, the plexiglass over the top yeah. would, would, would solve that. Yeah, that's one thing you can do with these. We could get a piece of plexi that you put over it, mm -hmm. and then you could have a larger playing surface and still see underneath it thematically. The game vault depth here is only an inch and a half, which is really nice when, when doing a lot of uh, talk with a lot of different gamers. That was one of the things they complained about was having to look way down into the vault. And this here, it keeps the dice in, but you know, and then your your component trays, like you're, you're ex yeah. demonstrating. Yeah, which is just just amazing unto itself. The other thing uh, somebody asked, uh, are, um, will you have the capability of making one that has felt already on it? Um, or you're just going to have the mats that come in? Yeah, anybody, what's beautiful about this, you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, you could... You yeah, could, you're not locked into one color. Mm -hmm. We have all kinds of different thematic maps. We're gonna make a, a basic one that's just a straight standardized color. This is a particular map that has really beautiful stitching. You probably can't see it here, but it is fantastic. And this is three millimeter. Big, big thing that everybody's asking right now. All right, the question is, do you have a cost breakdown, number one? Number two, will there be any for sale at Gen Con? And what can we expect to pay? Ah, those are great questions. <laughs> they sure are. That's the that's a big question everybody always has. It's oh, this is pretty, but how much? So this is a great question too, because when I go to conventions with my wood prototype, I'd ask people about it and say, "So, what do you think this is worth?" So it'd be kind of interesting to see what the viewers think it's worth. I I know what I need to do to make it work financially and, mm -hmm. and from a business standpoint. Um, but really my goal on this whole deal is I wanted to bring high quality gaming very affordably. Um, I, you know, we've all, all wanted that three and five and $10,000 table, but I, I know that's where not most of us live. Okay, uh, mass production equals low price. That's, oh, well, okay, that's what Jimmy said. A question, will there be, will, will this be available outside of the United States? That's a real good question. On our first run Kickstarter currently, everything that I'm working on has to do with, with uh, North American distribution. Okay. Um, so fulfillment is a big issue, particularly for, for shipping. So mm -hmm. currently, I, I haven't, haven't explored the, the international the fulfillment. But these are being manufactured in the United States. Right. So I have, this is right in my backyard. When I owned the computer company, this company, um, I used to do their networking for them. Okay. This company has grown to a 40,000 foot warehouse. Uh, they do huge production projects for Best Buy, for Target. Um, uh, they have seven large CAD machines that take up, the, you know, these wow. huge, yeah. you know, 30 foot machines. Um, uh, it, it's amazing uh, their production capability plus the packaging capability so to answer that question we're going to be able to produce a lot of these um, but they're being done here in America and yeah. we can manage the quality control because that's very important to me mm -hmm. yeah th they want to know if they're going to be able to buy them at some point well yes the the question um, we're going to have these tables at Gen Con in several publishers booths 
So mm -hmm. you're going to be able to look at them. I've been pitching these to publishers since the Gamma Trade Show. Right. And people in the industry and, and high quality companies like Portal Games, Arcane Wonders, and Yellow Games, and uh, uh, Passport Game Studios, Renegade Game Studios, Czech Games, uh, companies that we know and trust, Stronghold Games is looking at them. Um, all kinds of things like that, and you're going to be able to play Gray Fox games. We're going to have this at the booth at Dice Tower Con, so you can actually come and see it if you're at Dice Tower Con. Right. And anyway, you're going to be able to take a look That's at those. That's the thing I was going to say. That you're going to have a few of them at Dice Tower Con, actually. Exactly. We'll have one in the Arcane Wonders booth, too, and possibly one You're actually going to have a four-foot one, uh, and uh, not a four-foot one, a uh, 36 by 36. Yeah, the 36 by 36 will be at the Arcane Wonders, the mini table. Mm -hmm. And these mini tables, we get the rabbit trails, but they're perfect for, like, on your ottoman mm -hmm. or a smaller table. Um, <laughs> our ottoman, we had 12 people playing code names around our... Our thing for New Year's yeah. Eve, and it's perfect for that kind of application. For just a table, no mat and accessories, I would pay three fifty to four hundred. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Garth says everyone has a different idea of affordability. Yeah. But that might not be. So there you go. Yeah. No, I think uh, you know we we definitely have prices. We're hoping to have an entry level table. Again, these are these. This is th there's uh, no small expense has gone into no, this. No, I mean, I mean, you look at the quality here on this. I mean, it is ridiculous. I mean, this is just. I, I mean, I can't get over this. I didn't expect anything like this. Oh, thank you. I, when uh, yeah, we've been working on this so long, and when I actually got the rail and looked at it, I, I, I brought a tear to my eye, honestly. I looked yeah. at it and went, this is way better than I hope. I mean, when you think that I can take a folding table and turn it into a gaming table just like that, I mean, for somebody like me, you know, that's, that's just unbelievable. Well, and that's the hope. That's what, this provides that high end, and instead of spending three, five, six thousand dollars. You know, you see so many people that go out and, they, you know, and they have these elaborate tables and all this other stuff. And you'd like to, you know, sure. hey, you know, in the business that we're in, we like to film on something nice. Yeah. Well, half the time, it's Cthulhu Kitty. <laughs> right. That's right. She'll you have know. fun on here. Yeah, she'll have a great time on here. <laughs> but, you know, the availability to take this table and put it anywhere, yeah. anytime that we want to, really is a, a home run for us. I mean, it really is. And, and this is just... This is just unbelievable. We've had several of the Oronites uh, in our community mm -hmm. up in Minnesota. Rick Orloff uh, is one who generally... He mentioned that, that he saw something? Yeah, because Rick has played on these prototype tables. He hasn't actually seen, I think, the aluminum one yet because we just ran these off the, off the line. Um, but yeah, they're super high quality and they're going to be very affordable with a lot of fantastic options. One of the things that is going to be fantastic too with these extra trays is the collaborations we're going to have with other companies like Daedalus Productions and Dogmite Games, perhaps some of the other insert companies to make really cool things yeah. that yeah, gamers yeah. love. Okay, here's, a, here's a, a couple of interesting questions, believe it or not, which... I wouldn't even have thought. This is of. great. Thanks for all these questions, guys. This is hey. awesome. Hey, I mean, my people's always. Well, that's why we love it, right? It's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Okay, the first question is: Are you interested in investors, or are you going to just depend on Kickstarter? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> well, grab yourself a chair for crying out loud. I don't know if we got any chairs. Right we got chairs all over the place. Don't worry about me. Right, people. Well, um, you know, this is an entrepreneurial project um, right. that, that I've developed. I have already set up the LLC and uh, had to raise a little bit of capital privately um, with, with a family member to make this. I've put a big investment and honestly, uh, I've secured, secured my personal assets to make this dream come true right. and because I wanted it done right. Right. You know, so this wasn't a fly by your night. Uh, this isn't done, you know, fly by night. That, that's that, I, 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 again, I said it like 15 times. I just can't believe this thing. Yeah, thank you. No, it's been a lot of hard work, and I'm not not afraid of hard work. And no. my bottom line is, uh, when my computer company was called Integrity Computer Systems, mm -hmm. a system you can trust. And my philosophy has always been, whatever I'm going to do, I want to do give the customer more than they expect. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this point, 
you know, I, I believe in excellence, and and I'm feeling this is excellent. Well, this is, it is. I mean, it truly is. I mean, this is a. This is. Bob told me this was coming, and this was way out ex, uh, exceeded our expectations as to what this was going to look like. Because he, he was looking at me the same way we always look. We go, well, you know, here comes the folding we'll table. See. Maybe, right. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe we'll have a nice piece of plywood on it. But oh yeah, this is much nicer than we thought. I mean, because it, and again, it fits in so well with what we've got going on with it. We're bringing in, you know, where it's very much, very similar to I would say eighty percent of the gaming households where we don't have a dedicated room. We keep going from room to room, but yet we get to look like you know we're sitting in the middle of a you know of, of a game company. You know, you could demo a game here. Uh, it's, it's just as professional as that, which is, is going to make it even more fun to play games and make me lose when I lose to Rob. So this will, be, this will make that pill a little easier to swallow here. And you he will lose to Rob a lot. I'm not talking anymore because, yeah, because last time I talked a big game, I got beat up pretty bad. Oh, he said he was talking he some did. smack. He oh, did. I just really? sat there, I go, he put you, you down. Realize, he put me down. Do you yeah. realize who I am? Yeah. I'm a human highlight reel. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, question for Rob. You're going to do a review vid of this table. Reckon a dedicated review vid would do good numbers. Yes, I will. Will the 30, 36 by 36 be an option to buy? Yes, absolutely. That'll be our entry level table in addition to the 30 by 38. Um, that's the half of the 38 by 60 table. The 38 by 60 is the table we have found to be the, the most compatible with most people's kitchen tables. If you have a 40 inch table um, by 60 inch table, um, it fits really securely. There are rubber footies on the bottom. Uh, I shouldn't say footies. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very high quality 3M engineered adhesive that has rubber backing. And basically that keeps it from scratching your table and it keeps the footprint stable. Okay. Uh, question for you, my good friend. I am writing a book on the therapeutic properties of games. I have a press pass. Will this gentleman be at Gen Con and be open for an interview? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, Dice Tower Con, I'm not doing a lot of work there. I'm going to maybe help out Arcane Wonders, you know, spell Tony for a few minutes if he needs a break or something. But Tony don't need nothing. <laughs> I'm mostly going to be hanging out. so. I'll be around. You'll you'll see me, and absolutely come up and talk to me. I'd be happy to, to talk did with you. Did they say Gen Con or Dice Tower? At Dice Tower Con. Um, did they, they say Gen Con? I think Con? they said Gen Con on there. Yeah. Okay, Rick said he just played on the wooden prototype. Okay. Hey, Rick, how you doing, man? Yeah. Uh, and not to change the subject, but are you going to do the IPC? I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. We will have these tables at Gen Con, and you'll be seeing our, our company's name is Game Toppers. And we actually have, you can see the logo on our, on our thing there. Oh, um, is it possible to have a table like yours showing now and convert it into two small tables by adding two railings to each half? Great question, and the answer is yes, absolutely. That's one of our key designs. The way we've engineered the screw bosses inside of this here allows us to do that. And those rails will be ex uh, optional accessories. Just what I was looking for to top my uneven 200-year-old table in the gaming room. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, you know, this, this isn't the most balanced table, but you put this thing on here. It stabilizes it. It stabilizes, stabilizes it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm shocked at this. Uh, any options for materials, colors? I prefer a lighter tone. Uh, with the rails themselves, once we go to crowdfunding, we're probably going to have a couple options. Again, it, it honestly, it has to do with volume. Um, if this thing goes as well as we're hoping, then, then we'll be able to offer more options. So we'll definitely have a couple options, and then we'll have to do some... We really would love to have input of what everybody would like to see happening. This here is a real classy look, but maybe people would like a lighter, lighter tone. Mm -hmm. We, uh, if you look at that cup holder there, Rob. Yeah. The notice that if you can pull that out and show them, this is a gold anodized aluminum. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Uh, but here. this here particular. Hold on, because you're looking at a delay. There you go. Okay. This, there you are. There we are. This is a gold anodized, mm -hmm. and we can do that with this aluminum. 
this aluminum here is particularly powder coated black because it's the most neutral but this is a matte finish that doesn't show your fingerprints or oil so that was the reason we did this but we've also are exploring this because this is beautiful and we may be able to do it in some options mm -hmm. so i mean and look at this bank bang, boom i mean simple enough that even i can do it it's awesome and then put the game topper thing on there okay uh rob are you going to play a game on this today we yes. plan on playing spoils of war at some point with the entire tribe uh will will he be at gen con yes and i'm, get, I'm having my good friend jesse shaky come with me and we're gonna have top hats on with black leather vest you will see us at all the different publishers supporting the product and any questions, any demonstrations, anything that you have, let me know. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to help any way I can. Do you have a URL of the company's website? Um, the website, I do have it secured. It's going to be Game Toppers LLC. You'll see that coming shortly. But if you go to BoardGameTheater.com, you'll be seeing all the current things. Again, this was... We weren't really ready to do a launch of the product. This is kind of an exclusive first eyes only situation here with Rob because I wanted to do this for Rob. And uh, so the Ornites are the first ones to watch this deal. And so that will be coming shortly. So check out BoardGameTheater.com. You'll be able to get any updates there. But in addition, Game Toppers LLC. Leland, if you just caught that, please put that into the comments i would appreciate it greatly thank god for leland he's the one that takes care of a lot of our yeah, stuff he's awesome uh, why don't you just say that uh, wait question what are the storage options do the table halves latch together with the accessories inside um good question um no the we have actually d developed a gig bag i call it a gig bag because i used to travel musically but it's a storage bag i will show you one see if you you're fine man. This. oh I, you, you don't have to whisper this here is a storage bag and this has the 60 by 78 table in it it has handles heavy duty foam Hold and on. Hold both on. halves go in both sides of the table. So we are going to have this as an option as well. Yeah. And it just zips, the flat comes down, and that's how that works. Yeah, mm -hmm. very easy to store. And Leland, if you could just put that in the comments, I appreciate everything you do, my brother. Um, oh, there was a question I just missed. Let me as, just As grab. far as the accessories, we're working on some options on the bottom of the table to where the cup holders could be attached. Mm -hmm. And we may do something with Velcro or something of that nature. We're still still working on the development of that a little bit. The big question, you're saying fall, but they wanna know when. When, <laughs> such a great question. <laughs> when you get when I'm ready to do it with the most excellence and professional presentation, make sure the packaging is perfect. Um, these are gonna be packaged with the best quality i don't want tables coming in damaged i want to make sure everything's right so we are targeting late september early october um, but that's not a guarantee um, if everything uh, if i'm confident that all of my processes are in place so that i can deliver you know whether it's 500 tables or whether it's 5,000 tables uh, once that decision is made then we'll be there but I would, I would venture to say you're going to see this happen this year. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Um, will Happy Mouth Seasonings be an, a Kickstarter add-on <laughs> option? <laughs> well, there, I always like to give the customers something extra, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you go, bro. I mean, come on now. Life's better with Happy Mouth. Is there anything you can't do, like fly like Superman? No, we got it covered. <laughs> no, no. No, we got it covered. Rob, I will email you. Okay, uh, Daniel's going to email me all the information for you, so make sure to get a hold of me. Oh, and you. also, if you see me at the Dice Tower booth um, at Gen Con, I'll, I'll lead you right over to him. So either way, we'll make sure that we get, get it. What city is Game Toppers located in? I'm in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, sure, you betcha. All right. Uh, <laughs> just in time for Christmas, question mark? 
Yeah, that's a tricky, tricky question. And uh, if if we could deliver by October, um, then we may be able to do some some people that get in on the first batch that we could deliver. Mm -hmm. If if uh, if the Kickstarter goes well when we plan to launch mm -hmm. and everything's in place, um, there's a possibility of me having tables or being manufactured during the Kickstarter. And again, we can produce about 500 a month. So. Um, the last thing I would want to do, though, is not deliver a Christmas present. Oh, and so, um, but I, I would have to assume that if you have a really good Gen Con and everything goes well there, I mean, the ball will get rolling pretty good, I think. Yeah, if we're ready for the Kickstarter, and most of what's, everything on this end has been worked on so heavily oh, God, for yeah. a year and a half. In the last eight months, I mean, honestly, I've been working three jobs, and this has been a huge focus, mm -hmm. and so a lot of effort. But... Now it's all making sure the back end stuff is in place, all right. of the fulfillment. But I'm working with industry leaders. I'm well connected within the hobby and I'm learning a lot from many different people that are helping me. And um, I've, I'm just super excited to uh, have all the community alongside. They love this product and, and anything I can do to help. I'm, I mean, Shane from Gray Fox Games, mm -hmm. this guy's been a gem. And Brian Pope from Arcane Wonders. And, oh, Brian's great. Um, and, and talking to so many others. I'm talking to Stephen Bonacor and Ignacy Chevichek and, and people like this and Scott Greta from... Uh, Renegade Game Studios, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave people out and I don't want to. Um, Scott Morris from Passport Game Studios, mm -hmm. um, loving what we're doing. Stefan Burchard from Yellow, um, and like, hey, whatever we can do to help. So I, I have people beside me that are going to make sure we can do this right as right. well, you know? Right, exactly. All right, I think we hit it all. I think we covered it all. We'll be back probably about an hour or two. Maybe, um, and maybe we'll, we'll try it out. We'll get some people around it. Yeah, Everybody awesome. get a good look at it. Um, hey, Game Toppers, you're gonna hear a lot of it because you're gonna see a lot of it here on uh, none other than my channel. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, have you any thoughts of doing the play surface and felt? No, because the mats are actually going to be the thing that's gonna be very interchangeable. Yes, and quickly interchangeable. But likewise, if you wanted to make a felt board, mm -hmm. you could put it in here and insert it in there any way you want. So yeah. anything you want to fit modular in here, you could but do. But these are, these are so these nice. These are so much nicer. Yeah, yeah these so are much real nicer. nice. I, re I really like Especially this. these three these, millimeter these mats are like the great. cat's meow. They are. I have to agree. All right. With that said, right. I think we're all set. Mike, say goodbye. All right. See you guys in about okay. an hour. Hey, we had Berkey here for an hour talking all about this. Thank him for bringing this by, number one. Number two, uh, thanks for just being here and being uh, a good friend as always. You've always totally. taken care of me. You've always been very good to me, brother. And um, hey, we got the king in the house, so let's see how it all turns out. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll set up a, well, just be on the lookout. You'll see it pop up that we'll be playing uh, uh, with the Orn family on July oh, yeah, 4th. Baby. That'll uh, be awesome. Yep. All right, without further ado, guys, thanks so much for watching this. Thank and you, we... guys. This has been, thanks for all the questions, and feel free to contact me because I'm, I'm around. You can you find me at berkey at boardgametheater.com if you want to email me. Okay. And uh, Leland, and put that in the comments, please. I, I think that'll help. We're going to put this all in the comments. So I'm also on Twitter can... as Kim Peck, Board Game Theater, but it's Kim Peck. K I M P E K. You are just a media machine. Yeah, I don't know, but then then we also have the Ber <laughs> the Berkey and Badger board game battle show, and you can find us on Twitter or Facebook, Berkey and Badger. Do you sleep? Uh, uh, not much. Okay, I'm just making sure. So in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> while you drive. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you. Uh, you got everything? Did, I mean, did you cover it? Did, I, I, do you have a I can Instagram? talk about this for hours. I, I mean, do you have an Instagram? I do have an Instagram, too. Why don't you, why don't you plug <laughs> Board that, Game too? Theater. You can catch me on LinkedIn, if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have a Facebook? <laughs> and Facebook at Berkey and Badger or at Board Game Theater. Holy cow. My, now, my name, most people don't. Leland, I, I Leland like, what are you doing? We don't have all this <laughs> no, stuff. No, we don't have that. Ber Berkey uh, is short for Burkhard Smyer. Yeah. yeah. So you can find me at KevinBurkhardSmyer.com. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Leland, looks like you got a busy afternoon. Just, <laughs> yeah. just plugging in all those plugs. section over and over again to get everything. 
<laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, guys.